young man from London who is a master at the art of magic and manipulation. He's very, very well known on the continent, but hardly known at all in his own country. We're going to put that right here and now. You won't believe your eyes when you meet Carl Dean.
Welcome back to New Faces 86, where just before the commercial break, we were entertained by a young magician, Carl Dean. Let's go over and see what our panel thought. We'll start with you, Nina. I thought he was very clever. I mean, see all, the, all those flames coming out. I know you don't wear any knickers, but uh, I hope he's wearing asbestos underwear. I don't see how, how else he could do it. It was very, very impressive. My, my only uh, worry is that uh, the ending, I found, was a bit of a damp squib. Uh, after all those flames, I don't know what he could have done to top that. I mean, I don't think he should have a total conflagration and set fire to himself, but I needed, needed a bigger ending than a chandelier, which is a trick thing, and the cake was also a trick. So I'd like to have seen more magic or more fire somehow, something more exciting. But I think it's great to see a young magician, young, somebody young enough uh, to have his own hair. I mean, it won't get him on spitting image, but it's <laughs> nice to see a young, a young magician. Oh, thank you, Nina. Bernard. Magic. Fantastic. I, he's got a great life ahead of him, going to all these countries, Australia, America, Canada, doing the big boats, get all, on all the big liners, get a good living. He was a magician on the, one of the liners. He used to do a, an act to it, you know, and, and there's a parrot at the side, and the parrot was queering the pitch. He said, it's up his sleeve, it's down his jumper, you see. And he kept queering all the pitch, and uh, the ship's boilers blew, and him and the parrot are on this plank together. And after three days, the parrot looked at him and said, I give up. What have you done with the ship? <laughs> Marvellous. Thank you, Bernard. David. I have to say that I'm not all that keen on magic on TV in the first place. I mean, to the extreme, we were talking earlier about uh, this fellow in America who uh, alleges to make the Statue of Liberty disappear and jet planes disappear. I mean, it's just ludicrous. And you always suspect, I think, that the cameras are doing tricks on behalf of the magician. And so I always like seeing magicians live, if I can. Uh, I thought he was impressive. He was very slick. Uh, like Nina, I think I would like to have seen him use a broader range of props, certainly a broader range of tricks. But uh, he is young, and his timing is good, and he's confident, so who knows? Thank you very much, panel. Thank you. Take a bow, Carl. Carl Dean. Carl, have you ever got burnt with that act? Very pleased indeed. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, Carl Dean, would he fit into the final? Would you vote for him? If so, press your buttons now for Carl Dean. Carl Dean on the blue, going round. Press for Carl, ladies and gentlemen. Round and up, 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 up. Still in the lead is Walker and Cadman. Sixth, last but not least. The Sinclair Brothers from Scotland, the Sinclair Brothers. <laughs> Were the Sinclair Brothers your favourite act tonight? If so, press your buttons now for the Sinclair Brothers on red. <laughs> <laughs> 